Hello everyone. Welcome to Subatomic Tanvi. Hi everyone. And I cannot believe Isaac Newton was so wrong. What do you mean? Well, I guess quantum mechanics proved his theories wrong. No, it's not like quantum mechanics proved his theories wrong. Only um Newton's theories introduced classical physics and since quantum physics goes more deeper and into the subatomic level and things work very differently in the subatomic level, it just places some limits on Newton's theories. That's all. Really? Tell me more. Well, Newton envisioned everything as well-defined particles just like balls on a billiards board. And subatomic particles act as both a particle and a wave. I know what Newton is going to be saying. He's going to be saying those photons are cheating at cosmic billiards. <laughs> Um, well, okay. So, secondly, Newton envisioned everything as deterministic, which means that if you know the momentum and the position of a particle, you know exactly where the particle is, but the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle explains that that isn't possible for subatomic particles. I get that now. And there is also the quantum entanglement and superposition. Mm -hmm. And... You actually told me that you're going to show an experiment today um, that kind of shows that quantum entanglement is real. Yes, and that experiment is called the double slit experiment. So let me just bring up a slide deck that we can run through. Okay, so here it is. So this experiment will showcase the presence of quantum entanglement. So this is how to make the experiment at home. So all you need is um, one piece of paper, preferably black, so that the, reflect the reflection of the paper does not fall on the light. So, so you just cut the paper in half and then cut a little slit like this in the middle of the paper and place a floss in the middle of the slit. So now we have these two slits on either side, this and this. And you can just stick the floss on the back of it with tape. So here's a video that we can quickly run through. So this is another, the other sheet of black paper that I'm just slowly bringing into the slit. So, and now about, now, about now, it's hiding one of the slits. So there's the other slit, and now it closed the full slit completely. And now it's going to open up again. So about there is when one slit is open, and then it opens the full thing so the whole light is visible. And now, when that happens, let's see what happens on the wall. So, you see all of these small gaps? Those all showcase the floss, even though there's only one floss. So, now, do you see any of the gaps? Not really, right? Now, let's watch it again. And there are the gaps again. And now the light is completely gone because the paper hid the whole thing. And now, in a few seconds, it's going to come back up. And there it is. Yes, now you see the lights, right? I mean, you see the gaps, right? But just before, let's watch it. Just before it. Yes, now it's fading away, right? Just there, there's no more gaps. It's all a single beam of light. And now there's the gaps again. And now it's a single beam of light, and there are the gaps. So this 
So these gaps are happening when light is passing through when both slits are open. So observe these gaps in the beam of light. It's the same ones we saw in the video. And then when it's a single solid beam of light, light is passing through when one of the slits are closed. So this is happening because each particle of light is passing through both slits at the same time. And remember in an earlier episode, I mentioned that when you hear the phrase at the same time, it's most likely referring to superposition. Well, in this case, it's referring to superposition. These gaps are because of superposition, because each particle of light is passing through both slits. So two quantum states at the same time, one particle in two states at the same time, which is clearly referring to superposition. And on the other hand, when there's this single beam of light, this proves the observer effect because you keep observing this single beam of you keep observing all of these gaps in the beam, and then as you observe them, when you observe them, the beam of light collapses into one state, which is why it becomes a single beam of light. And since we and we just proved superposition and the observer effect using this double slit experiment right and since we proved these two that means we also proved the presence of quantum entanglement and that quantum entanglement is real this is mind-blowing i cannot believe my eyes well maybe your eyes are entangled too <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's true. But what's also true is the fact that quantum entanglement is real. I mean, I cannot believe that when the light passed through one slit, it was a single beam, it collapsed into a single beam. And when it passes through two slits, it was actually in superposition. So quantum entanglement is real. Yeah, obviously, it's real because we just proved it. And yeah, as you were saying earlier, it is pretty mind-blowing, but it's also pretty true because we just did an experiment at home and proved that quantum entanglement is real, and we also proved superposition and the observer effect. This is awesome. Thank you for another exciting episode of Atomic Tanvi. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>